Right then, new season, new transfers, new sense of optimism. Let's get our game faces on. <clears throat> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to The Journeyman. Welcome back to a new, fresh, exciting season. Couple of bits of news. Weird, I don't, this is just a very strange thing in that I signed a couple of players that were going to join me at the end of their contracts. The end of their contracts is, is as standard, the 1st of July. But our first league game is the 3rd of July. It seems to start off quite easy. We haven't started off great, but it's early doors. It's early doors. Let's have a look at the transfers then. We've done a bit of work here again. We lost a couple of players on because we had both fullback backups were loanies. And uh, Podoliak has gone as well. Um, so we had to do a bit of work. So we've signed some players. The, the, the registration is the, the biggest problem part because you, you can only have... A maximum squad of 25, but four of those have to be trained by the club, right? <laughs> Here's an example of our youth intake, people. It's not like we get good players. Well, I think what we need to do, if I was here for longer, if this was a long-term one-club save, I'd sign some 16, 17-year-old wonder kids because then I think if they're there for three years or whatever it is, that they'll become trained by the club. So, yeah. So, basically, we have a squad size of whatever, what, 25 minus four. So, 21 players, which makes it a little bit tricky. That's only 10 subs, even though we're allowed 12. So, we have to be really, really careful with it. So, we've, we've made some transfers. We had to lose a player as well. So, first off, we've got... Catalan Androne from Dynamo Bucharesti on loan. He's our new backup right back option. Um, he's actually not too bad. I think he's pretty decent. I think two star two stars is a little bit unfair, but we're not paying any of his wages, so that's good. We have Igor Leonjev uh, from that Jaka Blaka Lapalaka team. I think he's a pretty damn good player. I was quite surprised twenty because we've got quite a lot of young players now. So 28 years old, in his prime, a really solid all-round central midfielder, literally a central midfielder. He can play as the ball-winning midfielder. He can fill in as a deep-line playmaker, all that sort of good stuff. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this one. And next off, uh, so there were two loanies. Our first signing was Se Semyon Matvichuk, um, a new ball-playing central midfielder. I'm not sure if we signed him last season but with like his contract running out. Um, but just to add a bit of squad depth and somebody that can pass the ball. We can also play him as a DM as well if we slip to that defensive formation. We've also got Nikolai Poyakov from Rostov. He's our new left-back, but can also fill in at centre-back as well. So that's actually really nice. A really solid all-rounder. He looks like he couldn't be asked to be here. 22 years old, four and a half star potential. Happy for to get him. Our one big signing, or we got two signings, because like I said, we didn't have any money to spend, but we had a bit of tran uh, wages that we could adjust. So that's what we did. Dimitri Mitroga from Spartak, 44 grand, another central midfielder. Physicals are a bit shit, uh, but he's a very much a ball player, a uh, deep line playmaker. Five star potential, another 21 year old. Very happy to get him in the club. We also got Vladislav Galkin from Dynamo Moscow on loan. He's our new left winger stroke striker backup we have to try and get these players that can be quite versatile so because of our lack of registration rules um a pretty good all-rounder really and finally we've got cyril i'm going to call him cyril it's for kirill uh Folmer, who is our new left winger um a really good all-round player no sort of standout attributes but he's pretty good all-round there's no real weaknesses in his game either which is quite nice for this level um, and we got rid of a few players. One of the problems is it's hard to it's hard to get any of our sort of squad fringe players to actually make any money from selling them because all the clubs in this division have no money. So even like asking for 20 grand for a guy that's worth 30 grand, they're like, no, no, we can't do it. So um, we've let go of a couple of freebies and Dan Ilkin, who's a good player, but the problem is the registration rules so I was like okay we're just going to get rid of him um like like he says he's a solid player he didn't play great but he didn't have much of a chance last season for us try to 
I managed to get a loan deal where they were paying all his money with a guaranteed at the end of season pay 20 grand and my board blocked it and said it wasn't enough money. So I've just loaned him out instead so we can reassess. If he has a good season, he might come back into the squad. So we're going to go with a 4-4-2 press. We've got some decent squad depth now. Um, unfortunately, Diaz got himself injured. Nasty one. Um, a damaged kneecap. That's, no, that's never... That's, the thought of that is horrible. But that gives uh, Nikolai Popolabloplov a bit of a game as well. And um, we're going to give Matt, Matt, <sighs> Matt Vichuk the his debut today. We started off... With a decent 2 nil, two all draw, Makhev and Artem with the goals, and then Tom Tomsk. Yeah, they're quite good. They were decent last season, I think. Well, they didn't go too too crazy with the money. There was one player that I found that was on on a free that was willing to come to me. He did want three thousand three hundred pound a week, and I'm like, he's really good central midfielder. And then he chose some team in the division above, which you know can't argue. Right, come on, boys. We're going to look at this as a start of a new season, but also we will tweak the tactic because it is nuts. This tactic is... Oh, shit. We've got no other left-backs. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Slepoff can do a job. Slepoff can do a job. Oh, I can't believe that has happened. I bet he's out for ages as well. Good start to the season. Remember, we are expected to get mid-table. Luckily, none of our players were sold from under us. I did look at finances and was like, okay, there's two ways we can go here. I can try and balance the books, which would mean selling probably three or four of our best players just to balance the books for the season and, you know, make the club better financially. But that's... That, that, we're supposed to get top half this season. We're supposed to improve. God, he's missed that. We're supposed to improve. So that would be quite a battle to then get rid of three or four best players, then get players in to still improve upon last season. So I thought, you know what? Fuck it. It's not my problem. You gave me the money to spend. We've got to think selfishly. In an ideal world, I would like to leave every club better than I found it. So, but... I would be. I think I'd just screw myself over if I just went and sold a bunch of players and and stuff because I think we would really struggle to get top half. Remember, we were only promoted last season, so so because we overperformed, they want too much. Volmer, ball in. It's a good header away. Gerald, go on, go on, Jezza. Androne. Androne looks a decent player as well because he go on, go on, pounce on it. Gerald, hit it. Yes, come on. We need to get some wins on the board early. We don't need team morale. You know, after our... I don't know how to... What do we call that last game of the season where we got smashed? Um, uh, the post-season friendly where we got smashed. I had to do... <laughs> I had to do a team meeting because team morale had just been absolutely destroyed. It's the, Or no, dressing room atmosphere. It's fair enough, isn't it? Apologies for the giant white bits. That's the sun shining, you know. Yeah, I should probably get curtains. I don't usually record in the daytime. It's weird. All right, slip off. Heavy touch. Lays it off. Good ball around the corner. All right, Fulmer. What have you got, mate? Let's see something from you. So Galahad cuts back in. Kravsov. Gerald. Out wide if he needs it. Goes back to Kravy. Galahad. Fulmer. <sighs> get there. Go on. Chase him down. That's it. Beautiful stuff. Ball in. So Galahad's just over. Unlucky, lads. Come on. Look at the domination. I'm going to give it a bit of praise. This is our best. Oh, they've fallen apart as well. So this season is all about continuing what we've done. Obviously, with no finances, that means we can't take a coaching badge. But we have been quite lucky with coaching badges so far. We've already we've got, I think, three. We've done three coaching courses. Fulmer's got it again. Lofted ball this time. Galahad nods it down to himself. That's, yes, come on. No idea who's taking penalties. We don't get many penalties. Still no clue. Still no clue. Number five. Artem, the centre-back. Yes, I was always confident. Yeah, so we don't get that. But my, I think my feelings this year is we see how it goes. I think we'll get one more season out of this club because unless they put a load of money in or some magic money appears from somewhere... 
they are going to start sell that there's going to be a fire sale and they're just going to start accepting bids for any of our players. So we've got to be really wary of that. So I think in maybe one more year before the, the club goes bankrupt, because it, hopefully if we can get mid table anywhere near where we're so they expect us to come. Oh, Mac have done really well. So Galahad's there. Go on. The goalkeeper's just stood there. Um, I think it, we would be screwed. So if we have a good season, finish mid table maybe even push for playoffs. I think it's doable. Um, and then we should maybe go up to one and a half star. And then we start looking for clubs. Unless, of course, the flip side of that is if somehow the club gets money because Russia, I don't know why I'm doing that, Russia, that makes no sense. Um, if the club miraculously comes into some money, um, then this could be a decent project for another year or two and get that promotion before leaving. But I'm thinking the way it's looking now is just, okay, one more season, get the old reputation up, jump ship before it goes bankrupt, <laughs> and we'll be good to go. That's a lovely little dinked ball, Makev with the header on. All right, we want to give some time to Kotov because he was like our super sub. But I'm trying a false nine as well. That's the only real change to the formation. I'm trying it because we've got a couple of players that are decent as a false nine. So I'm trying it out. And we've got Galkin. Come on, as a left midfielder. I, I quite like Galkin because he can play a striker. He's got decent fin Fulmer just before he goes off. Uh, I, I quite like Galkin because... He's a, he's a left winger, but can also play up front. He's got decent striker stats. And a winger on attack is going to get in a lot of positions where he can have a shot and finish a, finish a goal. That's good English. Finish a goal. So I'm hoping he's banging in a few goals for us. But this is domination, this is. Okay, that's a bit hopeful. Magnum. Not seen much of him today. <laughs> Still not seen much of him. <laughs> he walks in the shadows like a ninja. Okay, come on, let's get... A, we could probably go defensive after this highlight. We're 3-0 up. I'm going to keep... Oh, keeper, it's right. I, I looked and looked and looked for a goalkeeper. It was the one I spent most time on, and there was fuck all. Because apparently people in Russia don't like to become goalkeepers. If you're a, a young Russian kid, become a goalkeeper. You've got a chance of getting in a squad. Because, <laughs> yeah, they just seem terrible. Um, all right. Do, do, do. Oh, we lost Lando as well. I had to sell Lando for reg for for registration issues. Right, Mitroga. Did I hang on? Did I sub off the sub? Okay, no, we're good. We're good. All right, five minutes left, boys. Don't concede here. We should be fine. Look at that. Two banks of four. Good save, turno. So I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I was going to say I'm, I'm feeling optimistic about this season. I'm feeling... I don't know. We're going to end up the first three games with a win and loss and a draw. I'm definitely... It's, it's gonna, if we continue to play this tactic, it's going to be a volatile season. That's, that's, we're going to provide some entertainment for all the people that row across to our island. But, um, I don't know how we're actually, <gasps> he's got, he's broken his fucking leg. He's broken his fucking leg. Oh, that actually really hurts. I might have to sign another left back. And obviously, I have to unregister somebody, so I'll have to unregister him. Yeah, we can unregister him because I think we can we can unregister players we've registered. We're still in there, yeah. So we can sign. Well, I'll have to sign another left back because Andre Diaz is out for like another six weeks, and then I can re-register him when we get to the winter transfer window, and he can just come back into the squad then. Oh, that's a punch in the dick, isn't it? All right, I want to see. We're seventh favourites, lads. Yeah, Tom Tomsk uh, at evens. And Nivzny... Is that who we played in the first game? No. 
at Avant Garde. We played them first. Okay. They're expecting big things of us this year. We've got a good squad. I'll get myself another left back. <laughs> what a start. We only played three games and we've had two really bad injuries to our left backs. Great stuff. I think we've got a decent squad. I don't, I don't think there's any real weaknesses in. We've got four good centre-backs. Goalkeeper is probably the biggest issue. Um, right wing is okay. Uh, Mag Magnum did pretty well last season. We've got Mutalev as well, who's okay. That's probably maybe our other weakest area. Central mid now, we've got actual squad depth. Up front, we've got a ton of squad depth. He's looking good. Hey, where did, where did our deck go? Don't ask, sorry, Russia. Don't ask any questions, people. Don't ask any questions. We're still in debt, which is bad because we just... Estimated two million in debt by the end of the season. Yeah, probably going to be our last season with the club. <laughs> right, there we go, my friends. Let me know what you think. As always, at the start of the season, in the comments, drop your predictions. I'm going to go... So hard to tell. I think we're okay. I think my tactic is pretty... Bang average. But our squad is pretty strong. I'm going to say sixths. Six in the league. Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up the one you agree with and all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Let's get on with the season, shall we?